So we're here today at Pier 39 Surfboards in Oceanside and we're taking a look at this wall-to-wall -wall SUPs. Anything from small surfboards but primarily 10-foot, 11-foot SUPs. This beach features a boat launch in the harbor making it easy for paddleboarders, jet skiers, and kayakers to get into the ocean as well. Unlike short boards that have taken uh, years and years and decades to become more of the popular dominating type of surfboard, SUPs have taken the sport of surfing full circle within you know, a handful of years where now you go out to harbors and oceans and even rivers and lakes and SUPs are dominating. If you've ever been to Hawaii, the birthplace of surfing, you quickly realize that the locals commonly commandeer watercrafts from the size of a catamaran down to a small high-performance surfboard or bodyboard. You'll notice that on the deck of SUPs, there's a slot. The slot is there so you can actually hold the board and transport it by foot from one location to another. This particular SUP has indentions that will make it comfortable for your hands and fingers to hold the board. SUPs or stand-up paddle boards require a paddle. So at this point in history, there are a couple types of paddles that are commonly used. You might find an adjustable aluminum paddle, which is kind of nice because it makes it possible for people of different heights to use the same paddle when needed. Um, if you're going more high performance, you might be looking at carbon fiber, which is typically lightweight and durable and uh, you know used for people who are probably a bit more advanced. In some cases, people might actually get covers for their paddles to kind of keep them you know, nice and, and tidy and safe while you're storing them or transporting your gear. Stand-up paddle boards also have options for various fins that you can use to adjust to the type of conditions that you might be dealing with or to your level of experience with the paddle board. And if you're doing SUP all the time, you typically would want to have a board bag to go ahead and protect your board while you're transporting it as well. So I recommend that you take a little bit of time out of your surfing and give an SUP a shot and try out an SUP. And if you're down in Oceanside and you run up on Pier 39, tell them that Phil from Pro Surf Vlog sent you.